What's the most common Christmas gift you ask? Well, it's gift cards. Now, if you're trying to spend these gift cards on some Nintendo action, this is the video for you. Here's 10 Nintendo games I recommend for the holidays. So the list is going to be ranging from games that are family friendly to even some horror and mature titles because everyone likes different kind of games. But to start off, we are going to start with Fire Emblem's Fates. This is a strategy uh, RPG type game and you pretty much have this big uh, army of characters, you fight with them, they die, you lose them permanently, and you're getting through this uh, campaign as you're picking up more characters or even losing some. Really fun game uh, for strategic gamers, and it's for the 3DS. The next is Bayonetta slash Bayonetta 2, and this you, uh, well, if you get Bayonetta 2 for the Wii U, it will most likely come with Bayonetta, which is also for the Wii U. Bayonetta is alternatively for the Xbox if you want that. But uh, pretty much Bayonetta 2 is a mature game, so this wouldn't be for children. Uh, you're fighting through hordes and hordes of angels or even demons in the second one, and you're trying to solve the mystery behind her past and what she is doing in this world right now. And pretty much in the second one, you're trying to save her sister, uh, Jean, and, or Jean, I'm not sure which, I forget. But yeah, it's a really fun title, really cool story, combat, super addicting, and there's many other features in the game like multiplayer that I could get into, but we're keeping this list short. So next is uh, another 3DS game, and this is going to be Monster Hunter Generations. Really, you could go with any Monster Hunter game. Uh, Monster Hunter 4 was excellent as well, both for the 3DS. Uh, you could play Monster Hunter 3 if you only have a Wii U. That would probably be super cheap at this point, like $12. But yeah, the Monster Hunter title is fantastic. It's as it seems your hunt and monsters uh it's, it does have a steep learning curve but if you play enough then you really get the hang of it a ton of weapons every different weapon makes it feel like a new game pretty much so it's super addicting easy to sink time into and you can play with friends so mostly for the 3ds but uh the third one is for the wii u so next is a Wii U game. If you don't have this one already, you are missing out, but most likely you have it. It is Mario Kart 8, and this is a big family game. Uh, you can play up to four players, and my family loves this game. Um, so pretty much it's as it seems. It's like any other Mario Kart title, except it looks fantastic. You got the coins back, and you can get DLC courses that include Animal Crossing stuff and Legend of Zelda stuff. I love playing with Link. But yeah, this Mario Kart 8 is probably my favorite Mario Kart of all time time and uh, super addicting, super fun for the whole family. The next game is also for the Wii U and this is going to be Xenoblade Chronicles X. So uh, Xenoblade Chronicles is a game for the Wii U. Uh, it's this big open world uh, RPG turn based combat game. Uh, it's really fun, it's kind of sci-fi-esque. Um, it's really easy to sink a lot of time into this one because it does have a lengthy campaign and a bunch of little side things you can do as well. Um, it's pretty much for those big open world type games that you'd see just like uh, Legend of Zelda or something like that, but it's more, I wouldn't say mature, but it is more realistic than games like that. And you're fighting with a bunch of mechs if you can call that realistic, but not really. Uh, this is a fun game though. The next would be Corpse Party, and this is a horror game. Yes, you don't see many of these for the 3DS, but indeed it has come. It was originally for PC, but has been ported to the 3DS. I think it's sitting around 40 bucks. But uh, this game is fantastic. It's pretty much you are a high or a middle school student, I think it is. Yeah, middle school or high school. You're stuck in this uh, school and you're pretty much trying to survive. There's a bunch of different endings. You're trying to keep all these kids alive and it's pretty much a uh, top-down like puzzle type game. It also has like a lot of anime aesthetics. So if you're really into a new like title to check out that is not so mainstream, then I would check out this 3DS title, Corpse Party. So the next title would be Mario Maker. This is for the 3DS and the Wii U. So pretty much what you're doing is making your own Mario levels. Sounds pretty fun, right? Well, it is. And if you don't really like making levels, this is endless Mario Maker levels. Uh, you can play other people's online lines and really if you just go through the best levels like you're gonna have a ton of fun you can find what you want you can have creative challenging or even just like aesthetically pleasing that you don't even have to play so yeah this is a game chock full of fun and it is family friendly so for all ages 
Uh, I'd probably recommend the Wii U over the 3DS just because it looks a little cleaner on that, but it really is up to your discretion. So the next game you guys probably have as well, but just in case you don't, I cannot recommend this enough. Best fighter game for the 3DS and the Wii U. Uh, it is Super Smash Bros. It has so many characters, the most ever in its roster. Uh, I could talk about this game forever, but I'm not because you guys know Super Smash Bros. by now. But yes, buy this game if you do not have it. It is fantastic if you like competitive fighting games. So my next uh, game you probably saw coming if you have visited my channel before because I do a ton of content on this. This is Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, it's for the 3DS. Just came out in November and it is fantastic. I just I just love this game. There is no doubt in my mind this is one of my favorite Pokemon games in the franchise. They switch up the formula so much that it's really a fresh take. If you haven't played a Pokemon game in a while because it started getting repetitive, this is the one you want to jump back in with. It is so much fun. You take out gym leaders with trial captains. Uh, you replace so many different mechanics with others. Like There's not a heavy focus on Mega Evolution, but you do have these Z moves. It's just a fun time. You got all the competitive features features as usual, just this is a really good game to pick up for the holidays. Then lastly, this isn't one game, but this is a bunch. Uh, if you are longing for a sense of nostalgia for games that you played as a kid, then I would go with the Legend of Zelda remakes, and this would include Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. So pretty much uh, Twilight Princess and Wind Waker are for the Wii U. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3DS and uh, some of these titles might be a little hard to find I know it took me a while to dig up Ocarina since that came out a while ago But uh, yeah, these remakes really do look nice It doesn't really add a ton to the game But if you haven't played any of these titles and you're a big Zelda fan Then you should definitely pick these up because I would recommend any of these uh, Personally my favorite on the list would be Wind Waker just because it was delightful to play on the Wii U The gamepad actually adds a lot to it since you you do have the map you don't have to pause and then continue you can actually sail as you're looking at the map but then there's also Majora's Mask which I love dearly for the 3DS and it is so clean so nice compared to how it looked back in the day I would just uh, I'd buy these if you're a big nostalgia fan or even if you've never touched the series if you like these open world RPG uh, fun games then you should definitely dive into Zelda so yeah that is my list if you have any games that you'd like to recommend to other people, feel free to put them in the comments. Uh, if I see any that I forgot and that I like, I'm definitely going to pin those to the top because uh, that's a very good use of that new functionality. But yes, if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe to my channel, The Clark Knight. Uh, you can just press it on the end screen if you want. But yeah, uh, have a nice day, guys. And if you like this, feel free to leave a like and a comment. So peace out. <music>